So I'm JW Franz, I'm the IoT Automation Solution Director here at Barcoding Inc. I'm Andrew Lynch, Director of Versatile Mobile Systems, which is a sister company of Barcoding. My role is really helping determine what's the best solutions for our customers as it relates to our overall product offering and services offering. I'm the sales manager, kind of the, the person that handles all the ins and outs of this location. Here we are today at the DEC, Distribution Experience Center. This facility serves as a show how our solutions, whether it's using technologies like RFID or machine vision. It will give them ideas on how to take back some of the technology that, that we're doing here at Barcoding back to their own establishments and we can help them implement them. Technology can provide solutions to our customers that are largely in the warehousing distribution space. It creates a conversation, right? I'd love to show people around and show what we can do, all the different things that we do on a daily basis with our customers and answer any questions that they may have. that we have these two facilities, the DEC and the REC, is really to kind of show our customers how they can benefit. Whether you're a distributor or you're a retailer, there's a proven need today to have complete visibility throughout your supply chain. Us having the ability to leverage facilities like what we're at today, which is truly a functioning warehouse, can really help illustrate how those solutions can live and breathe in a customer's environment as it does in our retail store in Baltimore. Regardless of what we're showing, we also have some flexibility in how we can present those solutions for our customers through the use of technologies like RAIN RFID. We can automate the receipt of goods at the receiving dock door here in this facility that would assume that product has come from, say, a factory overseas where those uh, garments, those uh, apparel items have been source tagged. We are going to leverage the fact that those, those items have RFID tags on them, and through that we'll be able to receive those goods automatically through our dock door portal and help really streamline that receiving process. During the receipt of that goods, we actually had a few exceptions that triggered an alert that told us that we needed to further interrogate one of the orders that we received. And we saw that because the, the portal triggered a, a red light. You know what's expected in this order today based on the fact that we would have received an ASN from our supplier, and now we're gonna go and further investigate to see what actually happened. I can go and very quickly scan this box and come to a very quick determination as to why that actual dock door reader told us that there was some discrepancies with that given order. It didn't in fact receive those 12 t-shirts that we were expecting to, but actually we found three other shirts that were in this order that weren't a part of that order. So from here, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and update our inventory management system to adjust it for the appropriate quantities and, and types, and we're gonna go now and put that back into inventory for further order fulfillment. We recognize that there's technologies that are fully complementary one another. It's not just RFID, it's not just barcode, it extends into other things like machine vision and or even robotics. And we're proud to say that barcoding you know, is a manufacturer of an automated guided vehicle or an AGV, which we call FRED. And FRED is actually gonna serve some really unique purposes here in Woodenville, which is gonna show you how once items have actually been received at the dock door, we're actually gonna put those items onto FRED and FRED is actually gonna move those products autonomously to the back of the warehouse where a worker can then put them away. So instead of having to, to wait for a Ford truck operator that might not be available, might be on lunch, whatever it might be, uh, we'll show how Fred can very easily, with a push of a button, take those received items that have once been palletized and take them back to the warehouse. The next thing that a customer would see if they come and visit is how we can use RFID to provide other benefits internal to the overall inventory management of goods, and being able to do a regular inventory cycle counts. And whether we're doing that with RFID handhelds or RFID enabled four trucks, or even potentially with Fred and being able to do a more regular count of goods in a more timely, accurate fashion certainly is where RFID shines. So that is one of the things that you'll see here is how we can do those cycle counts in different ways to ensure that inventory is accurate at all times. Technologies like RFID can really streamline operations specifically around the pick pack area. We're showing how the use of an RFID handheld can validate that those unique garments that were put into a specific container are those that we expect to then see shipped out to our customers. To ensure that our customers are compliant through a very simple mobile application, what we can do is go and scan that box uh, of, of t-shirts, for example, that are a part of a given order, ensuring that those tags or those, those um, items are encoded such that they do actually meet that GS1 specs. 
having a very simple mobile application to ensure compliance, not only from a label perspective, but an encoding perspective, is really instrumental to our customers. And we're basically here showing you how you can do that on a device like this from, from Zebra Technologies. So once we know that the expected items have been packed in a given case, we now have to take that case and start to build out our palette for an order for a given customer. So what you'll actually see here is through the use of RFID, where we're effectively building out a palette. The reason that's significant is, specifically in retail, is tag volumes are quite high when it comes to an order. We're not shipping 10 items. We could be shipping hundreds or thousands of items. Uh, the sheer challenges of reading all those items at a dock door during shipment to ensure that the right items are going on the right truck to the right customer can actually prove to be quite challenging. We talked about before putting the right items into the right case. The next step in the process is actually getting the right cases onto the right pallet. And we now have associated all of those cases to that pallet. Each one of these individual cases, which has a GS1 uh, SSCC label on it, is now a part of this given order. Uh, here forward, as we're tracking this pallet, which contains these cases, which contains these items, we will now be tracking this logistics unit with this, with this label as it goes out the dock door for shipment to a given customer. We'll be able to show how through overhead infrastructure, like the Zebra ATR 7000, how that actually can provide real-time inventory visibility of those loads at all times. The reason that's beneficial is that we'll then ensure that, that the right order is gonna be loaded on the right truck to go to the right customer and we can alleviate any order discrepancies or inventory issues. The value in these overhead readers is, is the flexibility they provide us to do things like monitoring staging areas to also uh, validating load shipments in our warehouse distribution center. The story that we're telling you here today doesn't stop here when those products go out that dock door. Now, the whole purpose here is to not only show how we have solutions in distribution, but also solutions in retail, but how those solutions can be connected. It really sparks a lot of ideas for customers. You know, whatever they may need at their current time or whatever their pain points are, we can help them with. If you come in and see us, we can go walk the warehouse. There's nothing like it around that you can actually go in and, and see and actually be hands-on. Everything to do with mobile technology we do here.